While life in Cuba slowly goes back to normal after Friday's massive power collapse that left the whole island in the dark, it is important to explain what normal is in a country with such a deficient energy generation and distribution. Throughout this year, Cuba has been struggling just to keep the lights on. Electricity is rationed some hours of the day in a system of rotation among provinces and neighborhoods, as is the case of the capital Havana. So for over a year, every home in Havana has experienced at least a few hours a day without electricity some days of the week. In the countryside, the situation is even worse with some smaller towns experience eight hours a day without electricity or sometimes none at all. The Cuban government blames uh, the increase of demand um, for the problems. And indeed, more Cubans have refrigerators and air conditioning, and there has been an expansion of private businesses since they were made legal in 2021. But the core of the problem lies in the short supply of fuel and spare parts to fix the ancient thermoelectric plants. With a worsening economic crisis that the country is going through and no signs of these problems being resolved, the major question is really how long before the lights go out again?